Awesome. So the next thing we're going to take a look at are hyperlinks. So to get started, um, you know what? Let's do this in the other order. That just makes a little bit more sense. We're going to want to add a hyperlink. Now this is a little bit complicated. Um, probably not going to be super useful, but this can be a really good thing to know um, if you only want links to be accessible to certain um, certain people or at certain times in your workbook. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to start with a th with statement, and we'll say with worksheets, and then we're going to select one because we only have one worksheet open. Um, if you have multiple worksheets open, you're going to have to do um, some 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 working around make sure you're you're selecting the right one there and then we're gonna go down another line and we're gonna say dot hyperlinks dot add and anchor here we're gonna specify our anchor as dot range l2 okay so worksheet dot range l2 and then we're going to continue our with statement below we're gonna say address equals and we're gonna put in an address so I have a YouTube link here that I'm gonna put in and then screen tip so this is like the tool tip when you hover over um, I'm gonna say start your free trial of QE suite because this is the um, QE suite free trial link and then text to display so um, there's some interesting behavior with this text to display I'm gonna say um, QE suite free trial and um, so now when I run this let's go back into our workbook um, we see we already have a value here so let's try running our um, let's see here I'm gonna go into developer I'm just gonna run it from here macros learn more about ranges run and we forgot to end our width my goodness there we go end width, and we'll just run it from here now we're good. Okay, and you see, start your free trial of QE Suite. If we click on that, um, it opens up this quick little three-minute video that shows you how to get started with your free trial of QE Suite, which is the exact behavior that is the URL that we brought it to. Um, but you'll notice the tooltip works, the link works, but we're not getting the actual text to display. So if we clear that cell first, okay, and now we run that macro, now we get it. So it won't overwrite the um, the text that's in the cell, the value in the cell. So that's something important to keep in mind. Um, if you want to make sure that that text to display is always showing up, go ahead and just throw a cell.clear in there.